So. In this segment uh, from the Martinsburg Union Rescue Mission, Tim Gurino, as we switch gears to a more serious topic here. Tim, you kept sliding out of the picture, so That's I had to kind of <laughs> kill time to get your attention to push it back in. That's all right. Yeah. That's all right. Thanks for having us on, and uh, glad to be here today with uh, Ryan and PJ. Ryan Skidmore, PJ Yurish, uh, gentlemen, good morning. Good Thanks morning. for coming in. Thank you. And on a serious note, uh, PJ reached out to me to try to do uh, some publicity for Ryan and to do a, a show about this to bring some attention to what he's doing and what he's going through. And I asked it to, to be directed through you at the rescue mission, Tim. And, and then uh, PJ reached out to you through that. And here we are today. Tell me uh, your uh, meetings with these two fine gentlemen. Uh, I met PJ some uh, while back and Ryan. Uh, they come into the mission from uh, time to time. PJ has volunteered there. They come in for food and uh, other stuff. Uh, PJ is a, uh, a friend of mine through uh, Randy Smith. And uh, Ryan is um, out there doing a lot of work, uh, helping a lot of folks, also helps a lot of folks at the rescue mission. And um, we connected, and through all this, uh, PJ here is going to share a little bit about Ryan's story and uh, his situation and his health situation. And uh, PJ, you want to uh, share? Yeah, you know, Ryan came into our life about a year ago. He actually, him and his dog Angel walked all the way from Missouri, Iowa, Ohio, down to Appalachian Mile. Walked. Walked 200 miles on the Appalachian Mile. It said it took him two months. Then he made his way to Martinsburg, and uh, Dawn from the West Virginia Rescue Dogs helped him out, put him in the hotel. Then we met on King Street, and every time I see a dog or homeless, it just gets to my heart. So then I got to know him um, you know, with the disease. I never even heard of Huntington's disease. So Hunt I met Huntington's him. disease. Huntington's disease, mm -hmm. yeah. And it's basically no cure, and you can see each – day second he'll just get no worse and it attacks your nerves and, attacks your nerves. and then um central nervous system yeah. but show you how famous he is but one time he was out by the post office martinsburg post courthouse square he had people bring him you can name it dog food gifts i mean blankets everything i mean he was there for almost three weeks where they finally made him move then we moved into the woods but um he's got a heart big as this world I mean I try to tell him because he only gets six hundred dollars a month and I try to tell him I want to help the homeless I said we, we got to reach out and let people know what you're dying from you're trying to do something why he's here mm -hmm. to help the homeless so we used to go out he makes up bags puts a gift card ten dollar gift card and sometimes it gives him cash uh, <clears throat> we've met a couple regular homeless people live the guy at some walmart all the time jeff he worries about him so i just try to get the word out so they can help us to raise money you know for to feed the homeless and other is get him an electric bike and then get him some kind of system with his um rent monthly rent because it's 700 and some people come the community have been helping him, but we don't know how long that's going to last but so basically that's what we've been doing. We've been going out Walmart or by Sheets and uh, McDonald's out there by Lowe's, people coming off the railroad track. Um, or if you see somebody homeless out there by the old Rite Aid where the family dollar on Winchester Avenue, mm -hmm. he said, let's stop, let's stop. <laughs> so I, mean, I guess the biggest goal is to get out. You know, when people see him, that's why he's got this shirt on, no officer, I'm not drinking. Um, because he had an incident where police officers tried to arrest him. And he calls me. He said, PJ, they're trying to arrest me. Because they thought he was inebriated. Yeah, they thought. So I got back because he won the funnel cake from downtown. I got back and I told the officer, I said, no, he's got a hunting disease and he's dying. And so sometime when we go into the stores, they, the first thing they think, they think he's hopped up on something. Mm -hmm. um, we was out to Domino's the other day because he loves Domino's. Uh, a girl walked in, I ain't going to say what word she said, and we finally told her what he had. So um, this show is trying to bring out about his disease, but also what he wants to do, why he can do it a normal life before, you know, the normal life goes away. 
Um, Ryan, Ryan, when when were you diagnosed? How long how, have you known that you have Huntington's disease? Ago. Two months ago. Three months ago. Three months ago. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I've had the symptoms for a year now. Symptoms for a year. You were diagnosed three months ago. And what is your prognosis? What did What could you slide the microphone to him, PJ, a little bit? There you go. What are the doctors telling you, PJ? Uh, I mean, they, no, I've got fifty three uh, percent uh, muscle. Fifty three uh, percent of my body is affected by. So over 50% of your body yeah. is affected by this. Yeah, it is. And it is terminal. Yeah, it's terminal. It is terminal. It, basically, it's penetrating right now. My mm -hmm. mom and my aunt die from it. You, you will die from this. Yeah. And, and yet, you're trying to help homeless people right yeah. now. And and uh, Tim, maybe we can bring you in on this again too. In yeah, terms of how the mission affects them. They're, they're doing a great job, and uh, they're reaching out to folks that are staying on the street and doing that kind of stuff. Plus, th through the mission, July 11th, um, Angela from um, Chick Fil A here in town contacted me yesterday. July 11th, we're gonna Chick Fil A and the mission are gonna come together to do a uh, an event for Ryan. Put together about 110 uh, bags and stuff. He's gonna help. Uh, feed and serve at the mission along with uh, have some extras to take out to those out in the community. Mm -hmm. We're also going to work with Ryan and PJ um, and put together um, sandwiches uh, probably once or twice a week for them to take out to the community, um, stuff like that. He, uh, they're going to work with Richard, our food service manager in the kitchen. So at the end, uh, there's just a, a lot of wonderful things. Um, he has a GoFundMe account. Um, he does have an apartment. He does have a place to stay, but um, it's seven hundred dollars a month rent. He only gets six hundred dollars for his disability, which <laughs> um, go figure on that. Yeah, one. I, I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I try to tell people when they. Yeah, it's hard. It's really hard. And Ryan himself, as he shared, he was homeless once, so. That's why he wants to give back. He wants to give back before he leaves this earth. He wants to bless others. Uh, he's very grateful for the place he has. He's very grateful for the people who are helping him uh, reach out. He's very grateful to have his dog back. Very grateful to have PJ. It's, it's great to have a guy like PJ because guys like Ryan on the streets and stuff don't have guys like PJ out there looking for him. PJ, you're a vet, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. yeah he's a veteran. Go grab the mic back, PJ. Yeah, PJ PJ is a veteran also. And, um, you know, vet to vet, I'm a veteran too. And then... Um, Randy Smith has uh, helped a lot in this situation. He's, uh, Randy Smith is a veteran, great guy. Big guy. Um, so, but there's a lot of individuals out there that are stepping up and helping out. Angela from Chick-fil-A, um, just a wonderful young lady. Uh, Chick-fil-A is just outstanding organization. Uh, Kendra, who runs the place there, um, just awesome people. So we're going to work together and partner, and, um, you know, it's kind of like a I don't want to say make a wish, but it's kind of like a make a wish thing towards the end of his life as right. he goes, as this disease continues to attack him daily. Um, you know, there's a lot to do and a lot to help out, and he's got the heart to do it. And PJ is a great guy out there himself, making it happen. And we we're just part of it. I mean, we're just doing what we can as the mission to partner with these guys and help them out. Um, it, it. I mean, we see this every day. PJ, PJ knows he comes down to the mission. I mean, we deal with we deal with folks all the time that it, it's it's severe, you know, life and death situations. Um, so my heart goes out to Ryan. My heart goes out to PJ with all that they're doing. When you first contacted me, I deal with so many people. It didn't hit me at first, but then I had then I looked into it further. I had lunch with a bunch of people, and I'm going, man, I do know these guys. I know these guys that come into the mission. Because there's so many people that come in, and PJ will tell you, there's a lot of people that come into the mission um, that are in desperate need. And um, it gets overwhelming for us uh, sometimes, but this is really great. PJ stepped up, and he's taking Ryan on and um, others. So if you can help, uh, there's a GoFundMe page. Right, GoFundMe plus. Mm -hmm. um, I've been telling people to send stuff to my house, 502 Gantt Drive, Martinsburg. Yeah. Say that slower, BJ. 502 Gantt Drive, Martinsburg, Thank you. 2543. Yeah. Um, you know, gift cards, like he likes to give out um, food, you know, the, like for people on homeless. I always tell people to go Google homeless lists, sure. what they need. But it, but it sounds like Ryan also could use some assistance if his yeah. rent is $100 oh, more yes. than his income. Yeah, I want to give him the GoFundMe 
for Ryan. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. It's on. If you get on, I guess you gotta get on my Facebook. It was the first time I done it. Go find. I have a link there so people can go to the link. Are you PJ Yours on Facebook? No, Paul. Paul Yours. Paul Yours. Yeah. And people can just link me, and then I've been trying to post that once a day or more so people get to the link easier. Mm-hmm. Um, so we've been doing that for him. Um, some of the things he likes to do when he's not helping the homeless, he likes DVDs. So if anybody out there wants to send him old DVDs, he loves to watch DVDs. Uh, and then on the other hand, he knows about soap. Mm-hmm. Some of his bags he had to put soap in, so we don't have no more soap. We don't have no more cloth, you know, worse cloth to give out to the homeless people on the tracks or whatever. Um, so we're trying to get, I call it Ryan and Angel uh, helping bag for the homeless and the poor. Where is Angel today? She's at home. We didn't, I couldn't put her vest together. Believe <laughs> me, she would come here. She's a love woman. She loves everybody. everybody. I mean, oh, we was in Charleston come back trying to get money for him. We're two and a half hours out. And he gets them back in the car. He said, PJ, guess what? He said, that man and woman knows how, wants to know how Angel and I'm doing. And I was like, that's how kind of popular he is right now. And I guess we're just trying to get him help for the homeless, get him help with his assistant, maybe get him a little enjoyment, you know, with the DVDs. Mm-hmm. So I believe God put him here for a reason, you know. And that's, I was brought up to help people back well, my grandparents used to help people. So he's like my best friend or son or whatever. We're, we're contact every day. We, we go, we, yeah, we go out once a day sometimes. And, but that's what we're doing. That's our goal to help Ryan, you know, for his wish before he passes away. And, you uh, know, for, how, do we know how much time Ryan has? Ryan, no, it's, it's penetrating right now, but I've noticed since we met him it's gotten – Progressively right. worse. My mom died when she was 37. Your mom died when she was 37? Yeah. Yeah. From, from this disease? Yeah. yeah. His mother's his sister. His mother's sister oh. passed away with it, and his grandmother passed with it. And so he knows what's coming, the storm. But other than that, Harry, if I was him, I'd be crying and everything, giving up. He don't. He wants to help the homeless. I mean, last night, you know, he was looking for Jeff out there at Walmart, and I said, Ryan, you only get six hundred dollars a month. <laughs> you know, he wants to get it all back out. Mm-hmm. So this whole purpose, us getting together with y'all, is to get the word out about him. Plus, if they see him and Angel on the street, they don't think he's hopped up on something. Now they know a little bit about Huntington's disease. Sure. And his shirt gives the message right. as well. It's got, it's got, <laughs> Tim, uh, if uh, if uh, if someone maybe not as social media adept they can't find the uh, pj's facebook page or the gofundme account could they drop anything off at the mission that yeah, could get to them they could drop it off at the mission anytime just to let us know it's for pj and we'll and and ryan and we'll put it aside i can i can get a hold of pj at any time i got his number he's got my number i can get a hold of him at any time and get it to pj as soon as possible or pj come on by and pick right. it up um yeah they can drop it off at the mission i just want to just real quick um, give you some um, shout out uh, Rob and, and John and, and Matt um, <clears throat> you guys deal with a lot of stuff and I know a lot of it's politics and stuff but you know the neat thing and I know Matt you deal with it every day for what you do for a living and and Rob and, and John you know <clears throat> I can come in and tell you stories but this is the real stuff this is what um, we at the mission uh, we deal with many folks in this situation and it's really neat as PJ brought this to the surface and, and Rob, you've given it a, uh, an opportunity to be showed to everybody. You know, um, <clears throat> it, it doesn't make sense. He gets $600 and this is his situation. And um, so when you're dealing with all the politicians and stuff, <laughs> let them know this is the real stuff. We deal with it. Uh, a guy like this and his disease, he gets $600 a month. <laughs> mm-hmm. And you just go, wow. <laughs> But I want to thank you guys um, thank you. for giving us this opportunity because I know you deal with it a lot and all you, you do. And Rob and John, thank you for giving us and um, Mike Hornsby for the station allowing us to come on and lift this up and make it an awareness to the uh, public. I know you've allowed me to bring other folks on in the past because <clears throat> people think I make stories up when I tell them what we deal with on a regular basis. And it's a lot. 
um, and it can be overwhelming. And so your donations, your giving to, to PJ and Ryan and, and what he's talking about here, all the stuff, really does matter, and it gets to the people. And so we just I just want to thank you guys. Sure, you're absolutely welcome. I'm I'm watching Ryan's the the Korea the, the the movement and it's it's very profound and it has to be exhausting. It burns a mm. lot of energy. Mm. In in a more perfect world, are there medications that would tame that a little bit? He and is currently on the medicine right now. Thank God. He's so this it. is with the medication yes. on board. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah. And then he's blessed with it. Mm. It's helped some, but they told us the doctor said it's not going to cure you. It's just going to help you mm -hmm. with the mobility, maybe the pain, like you said. And, um, Is there much pain associated with this, Ryan? Not really. Mm. Is this the just a control? Mm -hmm. yeah. And control. is your balance okay? And can yeah. you can you? No, you know, like then we go to Walmart first thing. You know, he's walking in there. That's why people think he's and, intoxicated. Sure, yeah, and mm -hmm. I would. He think. gets his cart and goes. And, yeah. Everybody looking around, looking like, and I tried to tell people one day we went out of the store and they had one manager here, one manager looking at him, and when he wasn't around, I told him what he had, you know, and just things like that. That's why one of the reasons we wanted to come on here, so now they know Ryan, they'll meet Angel. Um, we're going, he's going to go back out to his second home on the Evan Mill Boulevard with Angel. So if anybody wants to come by and see him, they can come by and visit him and. She's lovable. I mean, what kind of dog is Angel? She's a mix, uh, pit bull. Pit, mixed pit bull. Yeah, mm -hmm. but she's a sweetheart. Um, I've been putting videos on my uh, Facebook. Ryan, so, do you have a medical card that yeah, uh, that do. that you, police officers can see or yeah. EMTs if, no, if there's we anything? No, haven't got that yet. Um, we was talking to the, uh, the sheriff, Rob Blair. And he was thinking because I have a heart problem where we're medical alert. Sure. He told us we'd try to get him one because seems maybe when the police see that they know something got on. Um, we do have cards from the um, huntingdisease.org. They sent us some, like what you say, little cards, mm -hmm. but he hadn't used them yet. So, but might be good to have on to you, flip, right? To flip out and show um, what he has because you can see his. Yeah, most people wouldn't know. Right, yeah. right, yeah. and his speak. He's really got. If he speaks too fast, you can't understand. He said, you got to really be careful. So the day when they got almost arrested, they didn't understand it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I had to explain to them, you know, this is what's part of the disease. And I actually dropped off a package to the sheriff department, hunting disease. It explains about this shirt and about the back. <clears throat> and I'm dropping one off to the chief at the city police station to give them a heads up so they can let trained their you know officers hey this is what's going on you know next time maybe they won't harass him sure and, but um that's what we've been doing he met the sheriff and mary beth they fell in love with him everywhere he goes he's just people at sheets if he's not out there they say where's ryan how's ryan angel doing <laughs> so he has a lot of love you know i guess he gives love he gets a lot of love back and one of the reasons I love helping him because he's got a heart. Like I say, he's got a heart. Heart of gold. Oh, my goodness. Ryan, you, you said your mother died of this disease, yeah. your grandmother and the sisters. So, obviously, it's hereditary. How long How long have you known about this disease in your family? Uh, since for years. My grandma died before I was born. Your grandmother died of it, and that was before your birth? Yeah. So, at what age did you become aware that this was a disease you had a good chance of developing? I uh, uh, was 10. You were 10 years old at that point when you found out? How old are you now? I'm uh, 33. 33. And 33 was the age your mother died at? No, she was 37. 37 years old, okay. So uh, did, well, did you have a full-time job at one point in your yeah, life before yeah, this came along? quite a few jobs. Yeah, what did you do? I uh, you, last job, I worked at a chicken uh, factory. Chicken factory? And I was... It was a million dollar, uh, like five million chickens there. A lot of chickens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of chickens. Yeah. Uh, uh, Matt, I don't know if you've a chance to ask a question yet. If you have one, this is your time. We got about two minutes left here. Um, do you know how many people are afflicted by this disease or affected? Grab the mic back, PJ. Um, no. 
I can't think right now. Um, it's not that bad, but it's it's hereditary. It's it's uncurable. Um, most people get it when they're in this age, and usually within five years or they pass away. And I've studied. If you want to go on hunting disease dot org or g, they give you more detail about what you're asking me about. Um, how bad it is in the world, but uh, most of it, like I said, it's hereditary DNA. Uh, it's just one of them disease they just don't have no cure for it. And I've been telling people, like I said earlier, go on YouTube and put hunting in in there. It shows this young man named James, where he was a football player, baseball, then just went on. It affects kids sometimes. Kids too sometimes? Yeah. yeah. One of my friends in Kentucky, his uh, kid got diagnosed with it, and he passed away like five years later. So we've been talking with Ryan Skidmore, P.J. Yersh, and from the rescue mission, Pastor Tim Garino. Final 60 seconds here. Uh, again, you can drop uh, items off for uh, P.J. and Ryan at the mission. Uh, Pastor Tim will make sure it gets to them, or you can go to uh, Paul Yersh Facebook page. There's a GoFundMe page there, too, because uh, at some point along the way, uh, not only is uh, Ryan trying to help a homeless out there and feed them, but he's also got to cover his rent each month, which is $700, and his income is $600 in disability. So if you have it uh, in your means and in your heart, you can help these folks out. Uh, everybody would appreciate it as well. Paul slash PJ, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. Ryan, God bless you, brother. And Tim. Uh, Thank you. Always good to see you and the stories that you bring to us, man. Uh, thank you.